Hi there, this is AJ with Car Inspected, and today we're in Scarborough, and we are getting rained on, so we're going to make this quick. But we're looking at this 2010 Honda Fit. It's got 200 and, uh, 200 and something thousand, 226, something like that, thousand kilometers on it, I forget, but it will be in the report, sorry about that. But uh, overall, for the age and mileage, it's in pretty good condition. I don't see any major issues. Uh, bumper looks decent for its age. No major chips or broken parts, anything of that nature. A couple of chips on the hood. Um, no. Yep, a couple little ones here and there on the front here. It is wet now, so it's hard to see, but the photos are of the dry car. Uh, windshield looks good. Nothing's cracked or broke, anything like that. We do have a missing piece of plastic right there. A couple of little dings and dents uh, down the passenger side. Nothing too big, nothing too much, too many issues. It looks good, a couple little touched up things. Just little normal bumps and bruises for the age, no big deal. Uh, did paint thickness verification throughout. The only panel that I see has been repainted is the rear bumper. And the seller said that there is a collision on its history, uh, rear end, but it doesn't seem major. I don't see any structural issues, tailgate, everything like that. Nothing has been affected or painted, so it was just a light collision in the rear bumper there. Uh, now we are to the driver's side, and again, there's a couple little dings and bruises here and there, but nothing too major. Uh, bumper, by the way, bumper color match is a little off, but you can barely tell. Um, on the driver's side, I mean, the passenger side is a little worse, but it's not a big deal. So go down this side, everything looks good. Again, windows are original. Uh, the car has been lowered. It's got lowering springs in it now and the originals do come with it if you want to put it back to stock height. So here we are at the brakes and tires. Uh, as you can see, they're aftermarket rims with 2013 tires. So they're getting a little older, not bad, but uh, they are, there was about uh, six, five to six, three seconds of tread on these front tires. Decent, even tread wear. So I don't see any issues. Underneath here, you see uh, CV boots, etc. Everything looks pretty nice. The car has been extensively oil sprayed to prevent rust, and because of that, there is no rust underneath. It's all oily and protected. And I see no major issues going underneath rockers, etc. All look pretty nice. Uh, no leaks or anything like that from the engine. Transmission, uh, it's a manual transmission, so we don't have major concerns, but everything looks pretty good. Suspension components on the passenger side look just as good with no sign of issue. You'll see better photos in the report. And here we are to the passenger side front wheel. That's the right front wheel. Again, a 2013 tire with about uh, five to six, 30 seconds of tread and looking pretty decent. Uh, there is, I forgot to mention, there's a little bit of a, just a little kind of a pull out or scrape or something like that right here on that fender. I would suggest a touch up so it doesn't rust further. Other than that, it looks pretty decent though. And uh, I forgot to mention brakes on the other side. So the front brakes look pretty good. Rotors have been sitting a little bit, but there's no lip, no signs of major wear and tear. And I'd say there's about 60 or so percent left on those front brakes. As we go down the passenger side, this rear tire is also a 2013. So we are matching tires throughout. And again, I think these ones had about uh, 736 to tread. Uh, drum brakes in the back, so we can't visually check those. We'll make sure they're not making any noise when we go for a ride, though. Exhaust looks pretty decent. No major issues. There is a little bit of a... Like a corrosion spot starting or something right there, but I don't see any holes or anything like that. And underneath does look good throughout. It's got a uh, hitch for the bike rack mounted on the back, which looks like it was done correctly with no issues. And finally, here we are on the driver's side. Now you can see the lowering springs right there. They are throughout, and the car sits a little lower than stock. Again, about six to seven, 30 seconds of tread on these tires, 2013s, all look pretty decent. We'll go to the interior, which all looks pretty clean for its age and mileage. No major wear and tear or anything like that. Everything looks pretty good back here. Got spare tire, jack, tools, etc. And all around, all looks pretty decent. A little wire hanging out here for something. Headliner nice, no rips, tears, stains, anything like that. And this rear hatch 
panel looks good, not damaged or anything. It is missing this one little insert hatch piece right here though. Go to the rear seat and we find a pretty decent couple of marks here and there, but nothing to be unexpected for the mileage. Nothing majorly damaged or anything like that. Seats back here look decent. No rips, tears. Everything seems to work just as it should. Uh, carpeting looks good, not ripped, torn. Back of the seats look good. Overall, interior is functional and uh, pretty clean. Passenger front door panel looks good with no issues anywhere. You can see the oil spray uh, protection here and it means no rust anywhere. That's what all these are as well for inserting the uh, protectant. The front seat, here's a bunch of paperwork for it and the front seat has some little stains here and there but nothing too bad. I think with a good uh, detailing, it'll probably look pretty nice in here. Dash looks good. All these doors work as they should with no issues. All looks pretty good. And same story on the driver's side. Everything looks pretty decent. Little marks here and there, but no real issues. And the seat looks good with no major issues. Again, does work just as it should. Everything's decent under here as well too. Finally, here we are to the driver's side with uh, no major issues on the door panel. A couple of foot marks, but nothing out of the usual. And everything looks good, not ripped or torn or anything of that nature. And same with the driver's seat. A little wear in the middle just from use, but no major issues. Bolsters look good. Carpets look good, it's got all other mats in it. Everything looks pretty decent. And uh, there is a little bit of wear on the steering wheel here that you can see. But nothing's broken or damaged, it's just a little bit of wear. Gauges look good, uh, radio, air conditioning, all the electronics seem to work just as they should, so we have no issues. Shifter boot looks nice. Uh, a little aftermarket shifter here. So everything looks pretty decent in here. We're gonna pop the hood. And underneath here, we have no major issues. Again, extensive rust protection. So it is nice and dirty under here, but that's not because of leaks. Everything looks pretty good. So belts, hoses, everything is in operating condition. I see no signs of stress or wear. Everything looks pretty decent. The belt looks fairly new, actually. Uh, you can see the undercoating there and no rust or signs of impact anywhere. The coolant is a bit low, uh, I could not test it, so that should be topped up, but I don't see signs of leaks or anything of that nature. Everything looks pretty decent. Uh, tested your oil, which is right here. Uh, we got a green light back on that, so we have no head gasket or bearing issues, anything like that. Uh, it also looks good on here, no frothing or anything. So we look pretty good and clean under there. As far as uh, coolant, oh, I said that, we're low on that. So as far as brake fluid goes, we are at 2% humidity, which is no major issue. It looks pretty decent. Uh, battery is sitting at a little over 12 and charging at 14.6. So it all looks pretty decent. Uh, there are no major codes or issues. We did OBD scan, just one older history code, which you'll see, but that is not a current problem. So. There you have it, 2010 Honda Fit, manual transmission. We're gonna take it for a quick little test drive. It does not, uh, does not need to go far. But as usual, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.